Maybe you're just starting to look at buying your first classic Casio black resin watch. If you do a bit of research, very quickly you'll come across this as being the, the OG of Casio watches, the F91W. It's available for what, £10, $10. It's almost a throwaway watch. This is what most people buy and this is the classic one. However, when you go a little bit deeper, what you also come across is the W86. And this is also gaining quite a following because a lot of people look at this watch and go, well, it's maybe $5 more, but it does on the face of it give you a lot more than the classic F91. And in this video, I want to share my experience of comparing these watches and tell you why I still stick with the original one despite some of the prevailing wisdom today. So first of all, let's just compare them, how they look on the wrist. I've got a, a 16 centimeter wrist. So you can see they, they're not too dissimilar in size. The W86 does wear a little bit bigger. The, the bezels are a little bit chunkier. From the side, you see the W86 is a bit thicker as well. One of the major differences is the strap. So the strap feels more substantial on the W86. It's more supple. So the this is a harder plastic on the W on the F91, and this is a more supple out of the box material on the W86, which should all mean that this watch should wear better. But for me, I'll, I'll show you this now on my 16 centimeter wrist. If I put the, the F91 on and set that into the right place there, see that's how the F91 wears. I find that this looks perfect to me. Um, and this bit that the, the extra strap around the side here, I never noticed that. That's not a problem for me at all. But if I compare that to how the W86 wears, and this is probably the, the, the prime reason why the, the watch never really sort of sung to me. Is that you see that's that's how the W86 wears on my wrist. You see it's bigger straight away, but it's not. I mean, it's still a pretty small watch, right? Um, but the thing for me is to get a, a comfortable fit, the excess amount of strap just here around the side really protrudes, and that, that's really off-putting to me when I look down at my wrist. And you see around on this side where I've set the the support here for the the additional extra strap, I can't push that any further. It doesn't go any further that way. So this bit of strap always sticks out. So it highlights what well, it highlights one if you've got small wrists, it highlights you have got small wrists. And two, to me when I look down at the watch, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. And this is a real shame because I, I really wanted to like this watch. I mean it feels more substantial in, in the hand. Um, and of course, one of the reasons why people love this W86 is there's the backlight of the F91. And there's the illuminator of the W86. So it's so much better. However, unfortunately, because of the, the fit reasons I talked about, uh, that's why it doesn't work for me. I will be getting a, an F105 in the future to compare and contrast. But if you're in the market for these watches, I hope you found this look and feel video useful. I'll speak to you soon.